Hello my friends, this is Paul Drockton, CEO of Hemtonics USA, and we're going to talk about using your back office with our website, hemtonicsusa.com. So the first thing you need to do is go to this website, and then what you're going to do is you're going to either click this sign in button, make sure you click on affiliate, or you can come up here and click on this sign in. Either way, you're going to end up in the same place, which is here. So as you can see, all you need to do is put in either your email or your username, the email you registered with, or your username, and the password. Now, if you forgot your password, don't worry. Just click on Forgot Your Password, and what it's going to do is it's going to take you to a screen where it's going to ask you for your email address, the one you registered with. Just click Submit, and you will get your e you you will get your password uh, sent to you. And then all you need to do is come back to the screen, put in your email address, your password, and you can log in. So it's going to take you to your back office, and that's what this screen is. So the back office is for you. It's personalized just for you. So you're going to see your name at the top, and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to click on your profile. So when you click on your profile, it's going to give you a chance to both verify your information or you can change it if you desire. So let's pretend uh, you want to use a different email or maybe you want to change uh, your personal information. So the first tab you see is personal information. Scroll down, right? This is a test account. Put your first name, last name, right? Gender. And then for social security number, if you live inside, or I'm sorry, if you're a U.S. citizen, you're going to put in your social security number. If you're not a U.S. citizen, then you're going to put in nine zeros. Nine zeros, nine ones, nine twos, whatever. As long as it's nine numbers, you're good. Now, if you're a company that is domiciled in the United States, you're going to put your company name. And then you're going to put in your employer federal ID number. That's your EFIN. So, long story short, is if you are not a U.S. resident, remember, you're just going to put zeros in here. Or ones, or twos, or threes. Now, next, your contact information. So, make sure that your email is correct. Make sure the phone number is correct. Make sure the country is correct. So you can click on here and select your country. Make sure the street ad address is correct. The city, if you live in the United States, the state. If not, your country, uh, if you live outside the U.S., then it won't be one of these. Okay. Zip code is not used worldwide, so if you live in a country where you don't remember or you don't know your zip code, just put four zeros in here, or five zeros, or ones or twos or whatever, and then you click update. So remember, if there's a field that is not pertinent to your country, just put zeros in there. Next, the other thing I want to explain to you is, is that the system, once you put this information in, you never have to put it in again. You're done. So make sure you fill out your billing address. Again, country, address, right? Everything else. Remember, zeros for your post postal code if you don't live in the United States or someplace where you don't have one. Shipping address, same thing, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your password recovery questions are answered because if you forget your password you're going to have to answer your questions that you make up. So as you can see these questions vary. Just choose one. What was your childhood nickname for example? What's the name of your favorite childhood friend? What city or town did your mother or father meet in? And do the same thing for question two. You're going to have two security questions. This is going to stop someone from hacking into your account. Now let's pretend you forget your password. So you're going to click on your profile, you're going to go all the way to the right and, and you're going to see this button right here. That's a hamburger button is what they call it. That is, it's a menu within a menu. You click on that 
And as you can see, you can change your password. You can change your username if you want. So the system automatically assigns you a number. Change it if you want to whatever you want. Just click on this. Current username is two is test, so I can change it to whatever I want. Just type it in twice and update it. If you want to change your password, same thing. Current password, then put your new password in right here, whatever you want it to be. Then click update. If you want to change the, the name on your site, you can do the same thing. Now remember, the site name is going to appear up here when you send somebody your replicated site. So you can see pdrockton.hamtonicsusa.com up here, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change uh, the uh, site name, right? After you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at this menu right here. This is, again, it's another menu within a menu. So you're going to click on this hamburger menu, and it's going to open up this sidebar. And this sidebar is how you can access all everything else here. So dashboard is this. My account, you, you, we looked at your profile reviews, recommendations, right? There's a lot more to this than you than uh, we're going to talk about today. Your organization, you want to see your upline, you want to see your downline, right? Just click on genealogy or people. Contacts, you can add your contacts to this. So you can use this as a prospecting tool if you want. You want to get your replicated website link. You're going to click on website And what it's going to do is it's going to open this screen. And as you can see, the hemtonicsusa.com is active right now. So you, the first thing you need to do is you need to launch your personal website. So click on this where it says launch website. And now take a look at the top there. See where it says test.hemtonicsusa.com, right? So when you want to enroll somebody, you need to order, right? Or you need to enroll them under your link. So this is your personal website. You can copy it, you can paste it, you can share it on social media, you can send it out in emails, you can put it wherever you want, and people are going to come to your website and they're going to sign up under you. Next, if you want to know who's visiting your website, just click on this, Web Stats. This will tell you everybody that's visiting your website. Do you see that? We're going to click on the hamburger button again. Go to the left. And you want to know what your compensation is? Click on this button right here. Now remember that when people order, the website automatically updates both the purchases and the commissions three times a day. It's not automatic. So throughout the day, it'll continue to be updated. If you don't see it today, you, you'll see it later on. If you don't see it later on, you'll see it tomorrow. But the bottom line is commissions report here. Your wallet, that's going to show what, what uh, commissions you have available. And then, of course, down here is the store, which is going to allow you to shop which we're not going to do during this video. We're going to do the next one. So my friends, that is your back office. And as you can see, everything you need to know is right here. Profile, right? Inbox, contact, sign out. We'll be back with the next video, which is going to show you how to purchase product. This is Paul Drockton, CEO of Hemtonics USA. God bless. Have a great day.